So bladder cancer is one of the most uh, common neurological uh, cancers, and indeed it's one of the most common cancers uh, in men. Um, causes are variable, but mostly is smoking cigarettes related. Uh, the chemicals in the cigarettes does, are, are oncogenic, i.e. materials that will change the genes of the normal cell into a cancerous cell. There are some other causes uh, that could lead to bladder cancer, mainly are occupational. So people who work in dye industry, deal with rubbers or plastics or benzene fumes are also exposed um, to, to the, these chemicals that could lead to bladder cancer. Now, one of the other causes is recurrent infections and people with long-term catheters. So bladder irritation due to infection or any foreign body could also lead to bladder cancer. And uh, therefore, uh, uh, these are the really most common causes. There are some other much rarer causes, such as using some uh, old um, painkillers, uh, which is no longer in use. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, all these other little factors have hope likely and hopefully been eliminated from the use uh, and therefore no longer exist. So bladder cancer rarely run in families. Um, and it's usually associated with uh, people being diagnosed much earlier in age. So my suggestion is if uh, bladder cancer run is in the family, uh, uh, early checkup uh, with the GP uh, is very, very uh, recommended. So bladder cancer could be prevented. And indeed, the recent studies from Cancer Research UK showed that the incidence of bladder cancer is reducing, and it has reduced for about 46 to 49% in the last five years. And this is all, uh, or mainly in part, due to the change in the smoking habits. Um, so therefore, the, the, one of the main ways to reduce the incidence of uh, bladder cancer is to reduce the causes or the exposure to the causes such as smoking and with the occupational hazards, then obviously following uh, the infection control measures or the health control measures in uh, workplace will lead to reduce reduction in uh, incidence of bladder cancer. So luckily bladder cancer does cause symptoms. So it's not other like other cancers who uh, mostly are silent. The main, symptom of bladder cancer is blood in the urine. We see about 80% of people who diagnose with bladder, with bladder cancer are presented with either visible or non-visible uh, blood in the urine. Uh, this is also sometimes associated with uh, the need for frequent urination, uh, the urgence, uh, urgency in urination, and also uh, some discomfort and uh, pain during passing urine. Obviously, these are symptoms also are associated with urinary tract infection, but clearly if um, uh, you have any of these symptoms, you should see your GP as soon as possible and uh, get a checkup uh, uh, to rule out the presence of bladder cancer. So we, with all the recent advances, we have been doing very well in reducing the morbidity and mortality of bladder cancer. Indeed, 80% of bladder cancer present uh, at early stages, and they are curable in about 90 to 95% of them. So the, yes, the cure rate is very high. It usually is um, uh, so, uh, it's associated with a minimally invasive procedure, which we undertake using an endoscopic technique uh, with, without using the laser. Um, and uh, occasionally we need to use some form of immunotherapy um, that we install into the bladder to uh, reduce uh, the risk of uh, progression or recurrence. Um, about less than 10 to 15% of people present late, and even in those patients, we have a very good survival of more than 50% in five years.